what's going on poi spinners? I'm Greg Haskins and this is my contact poi folding line tutorial. Specifically, tossing into palm up to cradle. Uh, there are three prerequisites for this move. The first one being a good isolated toss, which looks like this. The second prerequisite is having a good inner forearm contact roll. And you want it to be able to roll to about the elbow, preferably. It'll make this move a lot easier. Uh, that looks like this. Uh, the third and final prerequisite is being comfortable with, once you're in this elbow cradle, about right here, uh, you want to be comfortable rolling it down your arm into cradle. That uh, is going to come in handy later right, on. So, to start this move off, we're going to give it a good isolated flick to initiate the contact roll. As you do this, the tether is going to do one half rotation on the outside of your arm. Uh, and, and that looks like this. So, as the ball gets to your elbow, the tether that starts on the outside of your arm is going to begin its upward rotation. At that moment, you untwist your arm and simultaneously fold it at the elbow. Um, and uh, as you do that, the tether is going to continue its downward rotation on the outside of your arm on wall plane. Uh, and then it should comfortably end up with the tether in between your middle and ring finger. Once you release the handle, extend your arm and keep it level and steady. Wait till the poi gets to about your elbow. At that point, the upward rotation of the tether will send it down your forearm as you fold. Once you complete the fold, keep your arm level and steady and wait until you feel the tether between your two fingers. Try your best to keep your arm as level as you can throughout this entire move. A lot of the common mistakes that I see people run into when they're uh, beginning learning this move is that as they fold, the tether will end up somewhere on their neck or shoulder, uh, and the other being that it'll just fall off on the outside of your arm. Those two look like this. That might, this might happen. Uh, I found two ways to correct those while also simultaneously getting used to the arm motion. The first one, uh, if, the, if you're having trouble with the tether hitting your neck and shoulder, uh, what you could do is as you fold uh, with your uh, native foot, uh, take one step back and get out of the way of the tether to complete the roll. That looks like this. One step back to get out of the way. The other solution I found is if it's falling off your arm, uh, one way to fix this is as you fall to tuck your forearm level up against your chest and lean back just ever so slightly. That looks like this. What that does is it keeps the ball on the inside of your forearm, uh, but right here, and you use your chest as a bumper, almost as if you were doing candle pin bowling. Uh, I found those solutions work really well. Uh, so, you know, just practice them. Uh, if you have any questions, need help, feel free to private message me on Facebook.